us do another episode on SOG 12 exams. So this is the 13th episode in this series where we've been looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So in this episode, we are going to move straight to question 19. Given that f of x equals 3x plus 1 and g of x equals 4x minus 1. Find question A, the inverse of f of x. Then the value of the inverse of f of x when x equals negative 5. Then C, f of g x. Okay, so what we do basically is in this case, let us start with A. So what we do is the first thing is let us say let y equals f of x. That's the first thing. Then this tells us y is equal to basically 3x plus 1. If this is the case, then to find the inverse of f of x, which is the original function, then we need to make x in this function the subject of the formula. That's the next step. So what we do is basically the moment this we take this one this side, so the moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. So we have y minus 1. So it's changing from positive to negative is equal to 3x. To solve for x, we divide by 3, we divide by 3. So we have y minus 1 over 3 equals x. So at this point, the next step is now, whatever we have x, we replace it with this inverse. Then whatever we have y from this side of the expression, we replace it with x. Then this tells us we are going to have f of x inverse, then equals Whatever there is a y here, we are putting x minus 1 over 3. So basically, this is the answer to a, which is the inverse function to f of x. The first step is, whatever there is f of x, you substitute it with y. Then once you do that, the next step is, you make x the subject of the formula, which is what we've done here. Then after that, whatever there is x, you substitute it with the inverse part as in a. Then whatever we have y from this side of the expression, we replace it with x. Once you do that, you answer the question a. Then we go to b, then find or evaluate. So we are trying to find the value of this function that we found when x is equal to negative 5. So what we know is now f of inverse, then we have negative 5 in here, whatever there is x, we replace it with negative 5. So it will be negative 5, then minus 1 over 3. So we end up with basically, remember negative 5 minus negative 1, basically we had negative 5, then we move another step in the negative. By 1, we get basically negative 6 over 3. Then we are going to get negative 2 as the answer. So negative 2 is basically the answer here. Then we already found this to be basically A. Then we move to C. So for C we are finding basically in the function f of x we substitute g of x wherever there is x. That's what it means. So in f of x which is basically this 3x plus 1 then to find f of g x this is the same as basically f of g x so this is the same thing i want you to take note of that so this now tells us f of g x is equal to so 3 whatever there is x we substitute within this so this is basically the part that we are substituting so we have basically 4 x minus 1 then plus this part so you notice that this part is the value of x is being taken up by 4x minus 1. Then we have, just to expand, so we have 3 times 4x is 12x, then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, then plus 1. 
then we are going to end up with 12 x minus 2 so if you want you can simplify it you can need a factor out 2 then you have a 6x minus 1 like this so this is uh, the answer so either this one or this one is still correct so here we have basically 2 basically 6x minus 1 as our answer then remember a is basically this answer which is here so basically this is how you answer question 19 question 20 in the following diagram angle b a c is 46 degrees a c equals b c b is due east of a calculate the bearing of question a a from c question b c from b so when we ask to find the bearing of a from c what it entails us is basically for us to go and uh, draw a north at c this is the north then when you stand at c we rotate the clockwise direction for us to be here so how many degrees do we need to turn for us to facing point a when we are in c that's what the question requires us to do so if this is basically this is equal to that then this angle one is equal to this angle here which is basically 46 degrees then if that's the case then we know that because b is due east of a what this tells us is basically this entire angle here is 90 degrees if that angle is 90 degrees this tells us basically a 46 plus x should give us basically 90 so 90 is equal to x plus 46 then 90 minus 46 must give us x so basically x is equal to 44 degrees so x that's 44 so because this is north north and north are parallel this tells us basically this angle here also should be equal these two angles so this angle should be 44 if that's the case we know from basically here to here this is 180 degrees then plus 44 then we're going to find the entire angle so the bearing of of a from c is basically equal to 180 plus 44 which is basically equal to 224 degrees as in basically our answer then we look at question b c from b so c from b so we got b and draw a north here because it's key we are standing at b then turning to face c so we are looking at basically this direction up to here so again we know that uh, basically this is 46 then this should also be 44 because this is b is due of is due east of a then if that's the case because these are north north are parallel meaning if this angle is 90 then this angle should also be 90 then to find the angle from here to here what we need to do is we need to subtract this from 360 so to find the, the bearing of c from b is just basically 360 minus 44 which is this angle here which we know is 44 then when we do subtraction there we are going to uh, basically get uh, 10 minus 4 you see basically 6 then we have a 5 here 5 minus 4 is basically 1 then we have 3 there are 3 minus 0 so basically we end up with him at 316 so 316 degrees is the bearing of c from b that's basically how you answer this question to get the full four marks thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this a uh, video to be very helpful please consider liking sharing and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel once you go to our channel we we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you you'll notice that we've got a uh, mathematics a uh, physics and chemistry 
We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.